Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 724. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link directly below the video, and then you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 722 to 726. In this video, we need to compare this list, part number quantity, to this list, part number quantity. However, the end result has to look like this. If there is a difference, right? So this is list one looking over at list two. If there's a difference, we need to show it, right? So this one has t this number on hand is 28 less than in list two. Similarly, if the quantity, or secondarily, if the quantities are the same, we need to have some indication of that. Thirdly, we need to list uh, if this item is not actually in the list. So we have three different things to do. Sounds like a perfect job for the if function, um, but there'll be some other parts to this also. Uh, the first thing is we need to somehow check, are these part numbers in list two? And then we're actually going to have to do the same thing here. We're going we're gonna, to uh, say list two over there. But we'll concentrate on doing this one first, and then it will copy the formula and place it over here, and it'll be straightforward. Great way to do this is the match function. Match function, you say, hey, uh, this is a lookup function. Hey, match function, look up that value in this range over here. Um, we're going to have to hit the F4 to lock it. That's the lookup array, comma, and then the match type. We're looking up an exact match because we have uh, text here, and it's not sorted. Now, what does match do anyway? Match tells you the position in the list. So this 65YT is the first item in this list. Now, what's great about the match is when you copy it down, it'll give you all the positions and an NA when it doesn't find it in the other list. Now. We want a true or false because we need to put a message in the cell if it isn't if if it's not in the list. For this one, we really we don't want an NA. We want to see not in list. So we'll just wrap the is this a number is number around that, and then it just puts a true and a false for that one. Now, oh, actually, we're interested in not in the number, so we'll use is an A because the t we want it to come out true so the, it's just there's lots of is functions is number is text is na ah there it is the true now we can use an if equals if if that logical test which is that right there comes out to be true then what do we want no i put the words not in list and i you had to put it i had to put it in text now that's the value of true comma whew, we got all that done but wait a second. When you get to the value of false, and there are there are more than one, there is more than one option. In fact, we have two. Then that means you need a second if. Now let's just um, leave that argument off for now and close parentheses and see what this gives us. We left the false out. So what does it do? It puts the false in, not in list. Our next uh, goal is for all of these uh, falses here. We need to check. Are these the same? All right. Well, we can do that with the V lookup. We can over to the side. I'll even do it over to the side here, and then we'll take the V lookup and put it in here. Equals V lookup. Well, lookup is a lookup function, just like matches, except for lookup doesn't V lookup doesn't return the position. It returns the actual item for the other list. So I'm going to say, hey. V lookup, look up that, comma, where is the table? Now, we need to include two from over here, so I'm going to click there and highlight both. First column, second column, remember, because we're trying to get this number back over there, F4. Column index means first, second, which column has the item you want to return? Well, this is column two, so we'll put a two, column index, and then finally, comma, same with um, match, we want an exact match, so I'm putting a zero. I'm not going to put false, I'm going to put zero, close parentheses. All right, control enter, and then copy this down. Well, we see our NA, that will not affect our if formula because we've already eliminated it by putting not in list here. But what are we going to do with the rest of these? We need to say, is this equal to that? 
So we can simply convert this to a true and false and say, hey, I'm going to click right here. Is this equal to that? So VLOOKUP is just delivering a value now. That delivered value is inside the formula saying, is that equal to this? Perfect. We have a true, a true, and these ones are not. So our second test will be this. And I'm going to copy just that without the equal sign. Copy, escape, come over here, come to the end. I'm going to delete that parentheses, comma. Now again, the rule is, if you have uh, two or more items left to put, or two more tests, then you have to put another if. So I'm going to put if, right, logical test, control V. Logical test, I already have, there's the if, there's our logical test. Remember, it comes out true or false. Well, if they're equal, what do we want? Comma, and then the value if true is, I'm just going to put same, or equal, or something, whatever you want. If it's text, put it in quotes. Otherwise, now here's where we um, get to the last um, of three things, right? If there's only one thing left, then just put it in there. So I'm going to actually control V. We don't want B2 equals. We want that one minus. And that this value minus the lookup value will give us the difference. All right, and then. At, when you get to the end and you have a bunch of ifs, you just close parentheses until you see a black one. The other th thing that can help in this situation, if you have three things to go in the cell, which we do, right? A number, same, or equal, not in list, three things. If you have three things, you have one, two ifs. All right, control enter, and then copy down. So now we have our differences, right? This one is 28 under. This one's 15 above. Now I want, we need to do this over here too. Notice the sheet name is just slightly different. So we can actually copy this. All the rest are relative cell references. The only difference is going to be where our uh, lookup values are on a different sheet. So I'm going to copy this. In edit mode, copy. Actually, we probably, well, we copied it in edit mode. If it's in the same place, it probably would work. Control V. Now, we need to just simply change list two, which is this list. We need it to look over here. So I'm going to change the sheet name. Now, in this case, I just changed the ones. I'm looking through very carefully, left to right. One and one. The reason why that they turn black like that. Anytime you have a cell reference on your sheet, it's color coded. Anytime it's in a different sheet or a different workbook, it's not color coded. All right, control enter. And that's right. It looks like the rest are right. Oh. Oh yes, that's correct. This one has to be is 28 above. This one's 15 under. These are equal cuz those are over in the list and this one is not in the list. All right, that was a little fun with uh, checking two lists. The match function is an A, if, and V lookup. All right, we'll see you next trick.